Okay, I shouldn't even be here tonight. Like, I went to court and these fucking flashing blue lights are freaking me out. Cause I have a fucking FTA out for me. I cussed a lot. I'm fucking sorry. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about that. But either way, I was in the court. I was, it was in the court. I was in the courthouse for my stupid larceny thing that happened over two fucking years ago, right? But I'm sitting in the domestic violence courtroom. Didn't know that. Just seemed real cramped, and there was a lot of Mexicans in there. And I was just like, hmm. This seems weird. And they did roll call, and they, and they never called my name. And I'm like, okay, uh, maybe I'm not supposed to be here today. And they're like, if you're not here for domestic violence, you're in the wrong courtroom. So I'm like, oh, fuck, okay. So my ass gets up, and I go to the other courtroom. They're in the damn W's. My last name's Garth. And I'm just like, yo, bitch, yo, yo, hatchet lady, please, please. Like, I was in the other courtroom. She's like, you sit down. We'll get to you when it's your turn. And I'm just like, okay, I'm not, I'm not waiting here till lunchtime. So I just fucking peace. Uh, and I came back around two, and the damn hatchet bitch was still there. And she knows, I've been to court so much, she knows who the fuck I am. She knew I was there, stupid bitch. God damn, sorry. Just don't get don't get involved with the court system. Don't get in trouble. It makes you scared of blue lights and shit all the time. I brought my boyfriend with me. His ass is asleep in the car. That's bipolar disorder for you. That ride, god damn. You get sex one day, and then you get fucking, I'm asleep in the car. Here's two cigarettes the next day. I don't know what the fuck. I'm like, sorry, dude. Like, god damn. I know I may be repulsive, but, you know, you look a goddamn Schmeagol right now, so go smoke another cigarette. You fuck. Well, yeah, I love you too. But I don't know. It's just, it's been a real rough month. Uh, I did have a, a, a nice job, and then I woke up like yesterday and was getting ready to go to work for Takeout Central. I'm keeping that sign though, because it keeps the cops away. You think I'm delivering food and shit? And like, uh, I'll bring their other shit back. Like, they can keep their bags and stuff, but that's mine. Like, not, not until this FDA is taken care of. But I have to turn myself in. I, and I asked my attorney, I'm like, yo, when do I turn myself in? And how does this work? He's just like, oh, you just wait till after Thanksgiving. Just take your time. And I'm like, okay. Uh, and then what? He's like, give us a call when you're about to turn yourself in. Go in at like 4.30 so you don't have to stay that long. And we'll get to you in the morning for time served. And I'm like, so no money? I don't have to pay any money? And he's like, no. And I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm guilty. Guilty. I don't have a buck. I like, save me $800. I don't have it right now. I have a topper on my car, and that's fucking it. Like, I I'm amazed I made it here. It was an hour and a half drive. Brought Roger with me. Brought my shitty-ass boyfriend with me. So I want you to go beat on my window and, like, yell at him and shit. And I don't know. He might get all pissy, though. Like, I'm going to pull a knife on you. But he's a bitch. So don't worry about him. Like, seriously. He ain't going to do shit. Like, he can threaten you all you want. But, like, he's this big around. Um, anyone in this room can defeat him. Just take a skateboard to his face, he's down, done. Like, pick up that fucking pumpkin, take his ass. Seriously, I thought of so many ways to kick his fucking ass. I'm like, wow, this could be love, right? Oh, God. Like, don't, don't love anything, you know? Just, like, love things like, oh, look, that kitten picture. I love that, that's so cute. Not, oh, look, a starving man who's like, I'm homeless and bipolar and need clonopin. Because I'm like, yo, man, I'm almost homeless, I'm almost bipolar, and I sort of need clonopin. I happen to just pick up my screw. Thank God that motherfuckers called and fired me as I was going to get my clonopin script. Or I wouldn't have made it through the fucking day. Like, I felt my, like, I just felt my heart drunk. And I realized that I was working for a company that's all about, I have nothing against gays. Me and gays are cool. Uh, I don't give a shit. They're straight as fuck. You know, whatever. Like, uh, uh, well, you know, straight as a gay person can get. But, like, that's cool. That's fine. I, I didn't know I had to be out there protesting and being all, I hate Trump, I hate Trump. I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I literally went to bed that night, same page as you. I was like, I'm going to wake up and Hillary's going to be president. I ain't fucking worried about it. I woke up the next morning mom goes, I'm like, you got to be shitting me. Like, how fucking retarded is this country? I voted. Doesn't that matter? No, it doesn't matter. I forgot. None of us matter. Those electoral votes are more important. I don't know. I just don't know how the fuck that happened. Like, everyone's joking about this motherfucker. And all I've got to say is watch the newest episode of South Park where Mr. Garrison's covered in that apricot-colored makeup and he, he portrays Trump perfectly. Like, and he should have just stuck with this plan, you know. Everything bad that motherfucker did, people loved it more and more, so she just dropped out of the race. But now he has this fucking scary-ass guy that if Trump gets assassinated, uh, we're, the gays do have the right to be scared then because they might get fucking electrocuted and shit. That mother Pence is terrifying. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm like, I just, I'd rather have Sarah Palin in as VP. Like, I forgot about that bitch. At least she's hot in the porno. I mean, like she had a purpose, and she can at least still talk about that porno to this day. These are cops, I swear to God. Like, I'm taking it off Clonopin. There's fucking lights everywhere. I'm like, look, I'm already pulling.
park. There's a man in the back. Arrest him. His name's Leah. It's fine. Like, no, he doesn't. Have, I don't know what, who Christopher Smith is. I'm like, that's bullshit. Just some crackhead. Like, so, Rigel, you don't know who that is? Yeah, that's Leah. If anyone asks, that's Leah in the car. Take him away. Take her away. Like, I mean, he's got long hair. Fuck it, you know. I, those women need to get... I, mean, I spent 28 days in Haywood County Jail... I was all fucked up on Ambi and trying to take Apple TVs from Best Buy. <laughs> I don't know what. I, and I tried to sign up for a credit card before I even made it out of the store. And so the cops are just waiting there for me. And I pop the rest of my pills. And they still get me with one tramadol. I'm like, tramadol, nigga? I'm like, tramadol? Like, of all the shit I had on me, like, I ate my weed, ate all the shit, you gonna give me with a tram and all? I'm like, my mom gave that shit to me because I'm on the rag right now. You can call her an ass. Like, you can call her an ass. There's no bullshit. I'm like, this shit doesn't fuck me up. It'll give me a seizure if I eat too many of them. No, that's what I'm going for. No, I'm going for anti-seizure. I want it to be fucking on the ground, not moving, not, not shaking violently either. I've seen seizures. I've had one, and it was, was, I can't say it was terrifying. I don't really remember anything. I thought I was taking a nap. And I just woke up and all these people are around me and they're just like, oh man, like, you had a seizure. And I'm like, oh, I feel fine, you know. And they're just like, well, you should go to the hospital anyway. They hook you up some clone up in there. I'm like, oh, very nice. Cool, cool. Totally worth that seizure. Like, uh, yeah, and I got out of court with, with an excuse. So that was nice. Okay. Like, and... I don't know. I'm just so sick of this court shit. I am happy to turn myself in. Spend a night in Bunk County Jail. Get my hot ass attorney's hot. My attorney's hot as hell. Shit. Like, and he know, and he's like, man, I bet. I'm like, man, I know you know. I know. I fuck you too. It's straight. But you're an attorney and you get in trouble and shit. So you just be all red and just come get me out in the morning. That'll be great. Uh, and leave this shit. I won't steal no more. I won't steal from mom and pop places. I'm just going after Walmart's where these shoes came from. Where the ones weren't warm enough so I had to get some new ones. I don't get paid till tomorrow. I'm sorry, it's my last paycheck too. So I'm gonna have to fucking make it work. And then I got this little drug addict piece of shit hitting me up every day, owes me like 20 bucks. I know 20 bucks ain't a lot, but it's a principle as a matter. Being like, yo, could you front me? Could you front me? Could you front me? I'm like, I, I fronted you two years ago. Okay? I ain't fronting you anymore. You either have the $10 and you can buy the fucking clonopin or you can fuck the fuck off. And he's like, how about I get you a job? I'm like, oh, no, how about that? How about that? Where do you work? Where do you work? He's like, I work at Chipotle. And I'm like, okay, so I sent that shit in. And his manager actually called me twice because I don't have a voicemail set up because I recently just got my phone jacked going through PVA. Uh, Pisgah View Apartments trying to help some meth heads out. Not a good idea. Don't help them in meth heads. There's no. really no help for them. No. Like, it's, it's, no, there is if you want to be that high up, you, you need to be that far away from me. Like, I just can't deal with it. Like, I, I, a heroin addict or two, sure. Just you don't stab me with your needles and we're cool. Like, but a meth head, like, oh my god, I'd rather hang out with an alcoholic. Like, Jesus Christ, at least they, they, they don't floor picking bullshit. I'm like, there's nothing left. There's nothing left, so quit looking, okay? Like, we're in jail, and the bitch... I was in Haywood County, this bitch goes, I got a surprise, Leah. She killed her dad, with all good reason. Me and her talked about it. Like, he was a piece of shit. Like, but either way, she she goes in... We go into our rooms about 30 minutes later, and she goes... And it's all slimy, and she's like, what the fuck is that? She goes, it's meth. And I'm like, well, I haven't been high in 26 days. So, fuck it, why not? And the one time I get visitors, the one time people decide to show up and say hey to me, I have two days left in that fucking hellhole, and I am coming down off that shit so hard, I'm climbing through that fucking screen. I'm like, you people want my fucking you could have got me out of here with $200 and you let me fucking sitting here eating biscuits and put on 15 pounds in this fucking place. This is bullshit. My pants don't fit anymore. I'm like, hi, da, 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 da. And like, the guard is terrified. She's walked the fuck away. I'm like, yeah, the guard is scared? Look what you made me do. You made me scare the guard away. Ain't that right, Cassie? What a bitch. Stupid bitch. She's like, call me a bitch again. You're going back in your cell. I'm like, bitch. She's like, hey, 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 next time. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Next time, next time. You ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> but this town, the name Shelby means something so special to me. Because the first roommate I had up in Haywood County was, her name was Shelby Bradley. And that pussy stank so fucking bad. It, I, I, this was worse than prison. I felt like I was in Guantanamo fucking bed. I had to sleep with the blanket over my eyes at night. And if I woke up and removed it, it was like I was sleeping in a bed of onions mixed with pussy. And, and she wasn't aware she stunk. But every time that bitch took her pants off to use the bathroom, the, the room just went, 
I, I can't, it's just like a skunk spray. I, it was so fast. And like the nurse happened to be coming by because I take Cinepril. I have high blood pressure at 26 because life sucks and you die. But that's okay. At least the Cinepril works. And she brought the shit by and the nurse was like, somebody pussy stank. I'm like, fat bitch right here. Fat bitch right here. I keep my shit clean. And she's like, I know it is. I know it's, it's obviously her. I mean, look at her. Look at her. She's nasty. Uh, and, and just like we're trying to be nice about it at first. And finally, another a different guard came by. Her name's Amy. She was like skeletal. Her hair pulled back so tight. Red hair. Just scary as fuck. But she goes, Liam, we got to get you out of here. This is a damn biohazard. That bitch pussy stank. And, and she just moved me on down to another room with some other cool chick. And I was great and everything. Shelby, stinky pussy forever, you know? Good job, guys. So, I, uh, something you remember for. No, I mean, just clean up your act. You'll be all right. Uh, you seem like good center people. Look through your shirts. There's a fall, Fallout Boy shirt over there. If I got paid tonight, I'd buy that shit. But no, I get paid in the morning my, with my last little check from this stupid-ass job I got fired from because I wasn't gay enough or some shit. I, don't, I really don't even know. Normally it's because uh, there's usually a reason. Like, oh, you stole. Oh, you fucking had sex in the bathroom. Oh, you... Just like, there's normally a reason to get fired. And this one was just like... Eh, and I just realized that Ramsey, nice guy, but his gay voice came out on the phone. And I was just like, oh my god, they must have heard me at the auditorium screaming, faggot, 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 faggot. Like, because all of a sudden, like, everyone went from being super cool to not fucking cool. <laughs> and I'm like, I, seriously, y'all, like, nothing against the gays. Like, I just like using the most offensive words as possible. Like, I'm quarter Asian, call me a zipper head. I don't give a fuck. I really, I'm only a quarter. What the fuck does it even matter anyway? My grandparents are dead. Well, the, the Asian one's dead. The regular one's dead. Like, uh, half the family's from Madison County. I don't know, but their pussies don't stink. I, I don't understand. There's no excuse. Like, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm still, I'm waiting for that asshole to get out of that car. I'm like, how'd you say? I'm like, oh, it was the best thing. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on David Muir shit later. You fucking wait. Well, you don't know what David Muir is? Any of you watch the news? That motherfucker, he took over Diane Sawyer's spot? Hot as hell. That's all I have to say about it. I mean, I don't really care what's going on in the world. We're all going down. We have about 20 years left. And that's okay. That's okay. Like, I don't plan on reproducing. And if I do, I'm going to give it to someone rich. Because I can't deal with that shit. Like, here you go. It's, it has the best brains and the best words. Just like Donald Trump. I promise. Like, I... Oh, shit, man. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just like... I'm amazed I made it up here without getting arrested. For real. Uh, now I just got to get back home. And I drop him off. And then go the fuck back somewhere else and continue to try and not get arrested until Thanksgiving. But thanks to that sign, I think I'll be alright. But once I turn myself in, they can have that fucking sign back, stuff it right up their asses. Maybe they'll enjoy it. You know, either way, have a good night. Thanks for having me. Fuck yeah. Give it up for the guard.